Welcome back, everyone. We're just loading in here. So, last time, if you remember correctly, we had gone through and found a, a bunch of stuff uh, transferred from our truck into this van so that we would have uh, more storage for all of our goodies. And we made our way to the uh, prison. Fun fact, between this episode and last episode, I watched someone do a video about uh, spawning in and trying to survive seven days at the prison on insane zombies. Uh, insane level of zombies and my god there were so many zombies it was insane just absolutely insane and uh yeah that was pretty crazy so luckily we're not 30 days in on our character here yet so we're not doing too bad in terms of that so real quick i am just going to uh fuel up thing here while we have a moment's reprieve let's hop in real quick so I can see the gas a bit full almost god this thing can hold a lot of gas well, we'll just go ahead and just slowly but surely siphon gasoline from all the vehicles around us that was kind of my plan today anyway so. Oh, perfect. Full can. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of add gasoline until I can't add no more. Then after that point, I can go ahead and just put the filled gas cans in the back of the truck. Although, to be honest, I did not expect it to have so much uh, gas space in it. I guess it is a bigger truck, and they usually do have larger gas tanks, but damn. Okay. Go ahead and siphon a little bit more. Why am I wet again? Okay. And before we get completely overweight, I'm gonna take the, uh... Did I put the full one back, or was it a half one? Where's the half one? Let's go ahead and uh, place this just right back here. There we go. Right, I keep forgetting I can like uncollapse the, uh, the things to see if they are filled or not. Not my other. Oh right, I didn't put the other gas can back, did I? Or take it back, I should say. I'm just an idiot. My work, apparently. Alright. Take this one back. I can take this gas can and put it in here. Can grab this gas can off the ground and put it back into here. Alright, let's fill up this final gas can. Oh my god. I forgot about those zombies over there. Oh shit, did I just like stop? I think I stopped. thought it was done. Oh, I guess we are done. Okay, remember, we're going to kill that group of zombies over there first. I had actually forgotten about them. So it's a good thing I kind of saw them. But I think our surroundings otherwise are pretty, uh, pretty open. So that's good for us. There we go. All right. We'll go ahead and... Put this in there, equip our nightstick, and then finish those guys over there off. Alright. Now, remember, we're going to try to lure them away, like, one or two at a time. Hopefully, so if I can go, like, pssst. Hey. You over there. You lot. There we go. Come on. I'll take one. I'm just going to wait for him to come to me. I'm not in any hurry to bash this one's brains in or anything. Looks like another one just saw me, so that's good. Don't have to worry about calling them over. So another one's coming. Perfect. Let's, let's give ourselves some distance here. Okay, I got 
did not want to die. Why am I getting so sweaty? I do not understand that. Not like I'm overweight or anything, yeah? Yeah, I can handle three. Let's do this. Oh, I can handle three definitely right now. You stay on the ground. Perfection, baby. Hey, we got some free sigs, too. How many more left up there? Just a group of three, it looks like. Anything else around them? Not really. That doesn't mean we have to take all three at the same time, though. We can just wait a moment. Lure them here and there. There we go. If we can keep up this momentum, we should be doing pretty okay. Wild Raccoon's Leather Jacket. That's nice. All right. Let's reward ourselves with a uh, cigarette as we walk to the entrance of the place here. I did learn one interesting thing, and that is that the armory is actually right next to the gate. So if we can just get in there, we'll be pretty much golden. Looks we have some car keys over there. Doesn't really matter. Since we uh, are only using one car, but I really do like collecting keys. It's like a compulsion almost. Well, let's take these guys out too. It's nice to get rid of any little group we can. Oi! There we go. Because any little group can come back to bite us in the back if we uh, start actually making some noise here. So it's a, it's a good chance for us to get rid of these guys. Hopefully me killing this guy will attract one or two others. Apparently his friends do not care. This guy must have been the, uh, the nerd of the bunch. Hey. There we go. We got two more. I will just... Go ahead and creep away. I don't know why I, myself, am being quiet. It's not like the zombies are hearing me talk. It's just a habit. Whenever I'm trying to do something like sneaky or stealthy, I just sort of quiet down, you know? Yep. Got a couple more coming. That's perfect. Let's take these two out, and then we can finish the last two off as well. Oh. Yep. And that works. Not what I wanted to do, but as long as we didn't get bit and we managed to kill them, I think it worked out. Mag stick is still in pretty decent condition, and there's no more zombies around us. Let's check these guys over real quick for anything interesting. Just watch this. All right. Also, we're getting tired again. Which, do I have, like, a perk? I forget. Do I have a perk that makes me, like... No, I have Wakeful. I should be, like, pumped up and ready to, like, not sleep at all. Is my like strength stat not the greatest? Now I'll tell you what. Since we gotta basically waste time anyway, why don't we do some burpees? Let's check around real quick to get ourselves a little more tired, and then let's uh, just I think I'll transfer all of my food out of the trunk. Maybe the medical supplies too. Like I'll keep the stuff that I, I wanted, that I would possibly need to use um, in a pinch in the front of my car rather than the back. That sounds like a good idea, right? So 
least as much as I can carry up here, right? Alright, uh, in the van, please. I can go ahead and drop all this stuff. Well, not drop, but move it over to the seat. Let me just speed that up. Okay. How about we reward ourselves for clearing this place out by having a nice chocolate bar? Good, 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 good. All right, I'm going to continue moving stuff back and forth uh, for just easier access, essentially. Um, so I'm going to press this battery. Batteries. Ugh. Grab all those. This will also help us keep things, like, sorted out, essentially. Marshmallows. Oatmeal cookie. Painkillers. Red licorice. I'll keep the ripped sheets back here, I think. I have enough, like, medical supplies up front in terms of other things that I can use. So I don't see quite a bit. But right now, all I have is in the back it's tools, uh, materials, and that kind of stuff that I can use. So we'll kind of go with that. In the truck. What do you do? All right, so now I'll just go ahead and uh, transport everything that I can into the seat here in the glove box. I'm going to try to put all the drugs in the glove box. I'm going to sort things out. I don't think it can hold that much, though. Um, let's eat a granola bar, since we are no longer in that area. Let's see. Grab all of this, and I'll just try to move as much as I can over here to the glove box, which is now filled, which means I can try to move this stuff over here, which it'll take most. Let's go ahead and have another smoke, since we are uh, getting a little more anxious now. And that's lowering our melee damage. Okay, so we only have a couple of water bottles left in our reserve here. What do we have on us? We don't actually have any uh, medical supplies, which we probably should. So let's do that. Can I then store two water bottles? Nope. Okay. Well, <clears throat> how about this then? We will go ahead and sleep. And then, when we wake up, we can eat again. Hopefully that'll free us up some space. And, uh, for some reason we became a nervous wreck. <laughs> Don't know why that would happen. Uh, let's go ahead and drink this juice box. Why do I need to sleep again? Okay, the car sleep must not be very, uh, restful or something. Seriously? And, okay, what if I take these? How much is this way? Seven? Hmm... I need to get down to 0 0.3, huh? I'll put that back. What else do I have that weighs like a decent amount? Nope, nope. All right, let's have a can of sardines. How about that? Then I can put the water bottle in there. Can't get back to sleep. Try again later. Well, fuck. I guess we're just going to do this a little bit... Uh, Tired then. Have another smoke. Not much else we can do at the moment. Since we can't go right back to sleep. Alright, so sleeping in the car is kind of like a last resort thing. We need to not do that as, as often as possible. I was hoping we could, you know, help ourselves out here a little bit, but looks like that's not going to be the case. Alright. So this should be the armory. We got a couple of guys up there. Looks like there are a couple of people inside there. So. Okay, there's more than a couple of guys in there. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take the ones that are outside out first. Let's check that little corner. There's no one there. Wait, why did I just say hey instead of like, Psst. I was crouched, right? Got him. Let me just check our surroundings real quick. We're good. Nice, got him. 
kill the one furthest away first. Oh, I guess not, never mind. Hoping to, but... Those wouldn't map. I'm gonna come up here. Oh fuck, that was a lot of zombies in there. Oh fuck, that's a lot of zombies in there. What the hell? Those guys just came out of my blind spot. Buddies, you wanna you wanna break this glass? Oh my god, there's so many in there. There we go. Got him. I think I heard that. What works for me. I'll just sort of bludgeon them one at a time as they come. Until that guy gets close anyway. Away. Can't take on that many right there. Okay, yeah, we definitely can't take on that many right there. Um, but what if? This is probably a really bad idea, considering we don't have very good aiming and stuff yet. We also don't have any spare shotgun shells on us. Rack it, please. Thank you. Out of shells now. Okay. <clears throat> yep, it's time to run. Back to the van. We'll grab our shotgun shells and we'll see if we can. The primary, please. Well, let's take this one out. Hopefully, quickly. Okay, he's gone. Shotgun shells. Boxes of shells. Grab them all. Now. And then I should have some shotgun shells just out here, which apparently did not want me to, did not want me to take for some reason. Okay, go ahead and unbox these real quick. Perfect. Shotgun out. Reload. Okay. I store these shells in my back quick. Game with these. Alright. Let's go ahead and open this can of sardines. I guess I can't while I'm moving. Okay. How's was gonna be, huh? I mean, if worse comes to worse... I'm gonna gather them back up by yelling. Uh, if worse comes to worse, we can just get into this van and leave. Right, we don't have to stay here. So it's it's okay. What sort of awesome crate? I've brought some beta blockers with me. Nope. Yep, all shotgun shells are opened. Let's go ahead and put them all in my bag now. God, my, my fucking range of vision is so narrow because I, I can't even see this person. This is why we need to level up aiming.
How are we doing on stress? Okay, not too good here. We have to be really careful because of our narrow field of vision now. How did I not hit that guy? I'm gonna go this way. Run past all these guys, hopefully, real quick. Yep. We're gonna die, we're gonna die today. I think. Which is not great. As long as I can keep picking a couple here and there off, I think we should be okay for the most part. I think I'm gonna try to run out of this little circle area though. I'm not doing myself any favors here. We're just so tired. So far, nothing that's gonna cost us uh, any issues with our aiming or anything over yet though. So I guess reload and rack time from there, but. Luckily, I think we lured all the zombies back into that area. We can just walk right on out here. And, uh... Yeah. We need to, uh... Get the hell out of here. For now, let's get away. And we can come back here a little bit later, but for now we just gotta rest. Hopefully hop in one of those and get a proper good night's rest. Start the day out fresh, ready. Got a couple of guys right there. Right, let's go ahead and stop here. Make sure to kill the lights. Anything back here. Go ahead and open up the window if we can. Got it. Get on through. Go ahead and close the window after us. Go ahead and drink. And fill our water bottle. Okay. Anything decent in here? A sewing kit. I don't think we really need that for anything. Okay. Let's just ignore the first floor. We can get to the second. Hopefully, find a bedroom. Perfect. Find a bedroom that we can uh, sleep in. All right. Oh, man. That was intense. Having our already fairly narrow field of vision just like further obscured because of our 
uh, our problem with sleepiness was not good. Okay. Well, let's have our breakfast of cam sardines. Let's, let's not eat the whole thing. Let's eat uh, half of it, I guess, for right now. Oh, there we go. All right, we can save the rest for when we get hungry again. But for right now, let's snoop around this house. Never know who might have a gun in their uh, drawers here. Apparently not these people, though. They're not American enough. <clears throat> my, my voice just went raspy there for a reason. For some reason. Ah, uh, finally the exercise, exercise fatigue comes in. I don't care about any of those. Ooh, a free lighter. I, I thought those guys just like came up from somewhere else and I was like, oh shit, what the hell? How do they get inside? Go ahead and just close that. Bye bye. Not gonna deal with that nonsense. Hey losers, I'm out here now. Was that one? Yeah. Oh, here comes some more. Perfect. Welcome to the killing floor. Where's your buddy? Do you not want to jump through? There he goes. As soon as I decide to look away, huh, old man? Respect my authority. Ooh, matches. Wrong pouch, but that's fine. Ooh, more cigarettes. Thank you. Some painkiller, which let's go ahead and take those while we meander on over here and then replace our matches into there. Okay. Perfect. All right, so uh, yeah, let me grab some beta blockers. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, have a little smoke. All right, back to the prison. We have some painkillers and some uh, beta blockers now. Yeah, that light's not going to help us at all. It, it's it's so foggy. We're going to be very careful for that uh, red car that was up here. So let's not go too fast. I don't remember exactly where it was. the red car. In my effort to avoid the red car that was parked in the middle of the street, I hit a lamppost. Pretty bad about how it goes. I don't like how uh, foggy it is right now. fog needs to like clear up yesterday. <laughs> yeah, if I even try to get out right now, I'm just, I'm just screwed. I won't be able to see anything. Well, let's get out anyway. Shit. 
Okay. Alright, let's reload while we have a moment. Try and uh, thin out the herd around this way. Kill this dude. There we go. Oh. Out of bullets. How about you guys screw off? Right, I'm gonna run real quick. Also, it looks like it's time to finish eating our sardines. Drop that can. That'll lighten us. Good. Again, it's really hard to do anything with this fog here. Luckily, I can sort of see their shapes as they stumble about the, the fog here, so I can kind of collect them up into a group. That's what I'm trying to do here. So I can kind of see them moving here and here, so if I just stumble around this way, boom, boom. sort of yell here and there. Speaking of which, why don't we go ahead and take some beta blockers to block out our crybabiness. Okay. go reload and leveled up aiming's about to level up here again which is nice if i can lure them up this way there's no way for the because this is the 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 prison is surrounded by like a gate and walls so they won't be able to get like near me from behind I'm careful might be like one or two that are just coming from like the surrounding woodland areas but I think I can get around that I don't know if it's like the shotgun or if it's just because I have low aiming, but it's it's hard to get the zombies sometimes. Like my previous shotgun, I would have been able to like, yeah, kill those guys right away in that range, but for some reason this one's just not liking it. I don't know what the problem is. But you gotta be careful for the couple of stragglers like them that are uh, looking to cause problems for us, but... Why am I already tired? I don't get it. I literally slept. We have the wakeful perk, which means we don't need to sleep too much. And yet our sleep is just screwed for some reason. It's just weird. Let's loop back down and get him closer to these guys. If I can do that. Well, that didn't work like I wanted it to. We're getting a couple of friends, though. Oh my god, I keep shooting. 
shooting like one of them because the range on this thing is garbage, I guess. Question, is it the... Is it the choke? Can I just remove that, maybe? I think I actually have to... Uh, fully stop to do that, so never mind. Okay, let's go back towards the flow. Gather them up into a nice little tight ball here. Come on, guys. Get tighter. Come on. Look at We need to take more beta blockers, it looks like. That shouldn't be a problem. Just through there. Come on, folks. Come on. Fresh meat here. See, the zombies, they sort of trail off after a while if they're too far away, so that's not ideal for us. <clears throat> oh. Oh, oh, he almost got me. But as aiming goes up, what's that gonna, I can aim farther and better at least. Or did I actually remove the choke? No. Come on guys, gather up. Whoop! Oh ho ho! That was a very tight maneuver right there. We need to get them tighter together again. Let's go up here. Oop, nope, y'all almost had me. And then for these guys. Ho 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 ho! Come on, folks. What am I paying you for? Keep up. them up by going through here, and then we'll go back this way. Alrighty. I think we just have a nice little little horde here now. We can clear them out with the uh, 50 shells we have remaining. We should be good here. And then we can hopefully get into the armory. Lickety split. That'll be that. Oh, come on. Come down this way and I 
Come on, y'all. Over here. Zombies left. All right, let's get these guys gathered together. Oh, oh, oh all right. Night stick time. All right. Now, did any of these guys have anything interesting? I think there were a couple of cops and stuff around, but sort of hard to tell. Oh, there was a ranger here. Nothing. Oh, there's a straggler. Let's kick his butt. And remember, every zombie we kill now is a zombie that we do not have to kill or deal with later. They do not respawn. These are all just sticks. Yep. There's more dead people. This guy might be a cop, yeah? Not just a normal guy. How about you, sir? Do you want to die for the cause? The cause of no more zombies. Okay. I think the outside perimeter, at least on this side, is, is fairly clear now, so... I'm pretty okay here. Alright, I'm not gonna deal with more of these guys. For now, let's go ahead and have a smoke, because our anxiety is getting up. A little bit high, as you can see. We also need to eat and then rest as well for some reason. But we did manage to get our aiming and stuff up pretty high, which is really sometimes all you can ask for is just to get a little bit better in your stats. Also, did I have more spells? Not in boxes, anyway. Alright, how are we doing on weight? We are 13 out of 15, which is not necessarily ideal, but this is how that goes sometimes. Alright, let's check this uh, guard tower. Maybe they have, like, ammunition and stuff in here for rifles, or I don't know, something like that. You never know. Never been to one before. A walkie-talkie, and a whole lot of nothing, huh? Okay, well, let's head back down before that area gets swarmed with zombies for some reason. Uh, I didn't mean to jump that. Yeah, I thought I saw you guys here. I don't know where you came from. Not cool to sneak up on people like that. That wasn't bad. All right, how are we looking down here? Looking pretty good so far. Any cops over here? Nah. I keep seeing the, the black outfit and I'm like, oh, is that a cop? But no, it's just, God, I'm already anxious. It's because of the blood on my, well, look how bloody we are. That's why. She's not a cop, yeah, no. They're getting really tired though, which is unfortunate. Okay. Let's just hop in the van. We will eat a little something. I'll have a bag of chips. Why not? Why not, right? And let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, so it was 14 when we slept. So that gives us four hours of sleep right now. Mm hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. Okay. Well, let's at least see if we can get into the armory section of the prison now. Because I know we lured a lot of zombies out and killed a bunch yesterday. So that was uh, really nice. We'll have to see if we can do anything else here. Because we have a congregation over there.
if I just walk my stuff down here? I don't see anyone outside, I just see someone there. I guess I could remove the glass here. <clears throat> Climb through this window. I know someone else is over that way. Let's try to stay near the window. I can use it to my advantage to uh, escape if necessary. As long as I'm taking them down one at a time here, there's not a huge horde coming, I think we should be fine. We need to tend to our wounds. Also, that zombie could have just came like in behind me, and that would not have been cool. Of course, it's the right hand, which means our my attacks are going to be like weaker and stuff. Slower. Come on, man. Back the hell off. At least we're really nimble so we can back up and fight them and stuff. It's great. I don't want to use the shotgun here because it'll just attract zombies, which is not what we want to do at this time. Most of them were uh, officers or guards, so that didn't help us at all. How's our anxiety doing? Pretty shit, to be honest. Go ahead and have a smoke. We can get back into there and hopefully not attract anyone else in there. We can uh, hopefully wash ourselves off. Which will help us reduce some of our anxiety issues. I go in through there. At least have one zombie over that way. A couple of them down there. I'm through. Let's check this room first. I just want to make sure there's nothing in there. All right. We got a fridge here with a fresh hot dog in it, huh? Okay. No water, though, which is... Dip some pop. Gonna wait for this guy to come to me here. In fact, we're gonna walk away a little bit, so... He's further away from the zombies. When we bash his brains in, it doesn't uh, attract too many more, like that one up there. I don't know why that one missed. Fine, as long as there's one or two at a time. Come on, then. I think I saw a key on the zombie's body. Okay. It was just great. I could kill him. I'll push him on the ground. No, not him. It was close. I almost just got bit again there. That would have been not good. Another key. something. I go 
There's the second floor. That just leads into there. Bathroom. Let's drink and then wash up first. Fill our water bottle anyway is what I mean. How's my gear doing? Uh, firefighter helmet's decent. If I can find a new vest, I'll probably put that on, to be honest. Another nightstick. I'll take that. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. Oof. Let's go ahead and wash. Uh, fuck it. Let's just wash all of our clothing that we can here. We get a little wet, but I know what we have to do. We shouldn't be bloody anymore now, which was our our main issue. We're getting uh, anxious because we uh, whatever that thing is where we don't like blood or whatever. Hmm. I forgot to check that mod. That should just allow me to replace bandages. I must not have uh, done it right, though. We're very dirty. Let's go ahead and wash ourselves, too. Okay. Alright. We're all squeaky clean now. Let's just secure the rest of this area here. All right. And there's a second floor. If necessary, we can go sleep on the couches out here. Which, you know what? Might not be a bad idea to do, like, right now. After we, uh... We were this person over. Take them out back here. Oh my god, it's so dark, I can barely see them. Or that one. Alright. I know there were some chips in this vending machine here. Not the pot, the chips. Thank you. Alright. Even though there's zombies outside there, I can still sleep. Perfect. It's just not going to be the most comfortable sleep ever. Alright, let's go ahead and eat all the chips now. And then we'll head up the stairs. At least I thought this was the armory. Maybe I'm mistaken. fine. Just two. Just three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna hurt ourselves a little bit, but that's fine. It's better than staying up there and dying to all those guys. I'm not sure where they all came from or why they decided to uh, all of a sudden come at me like that. It's very not nice of them. I'm gonna sneak back over here. Can we climb through the windows? 
like up top and then fall to the ground. I don't remember if it can or not. So they can. Unless that one came through the bottom window and I just missed it. Come on, prisoners. Wait. Come on, jump through. What are you waiting for? Fresh meat. That's a couple more than five, so we're not going to be uh, doing much against them. But we will equip our shotgun and take them out. Oh, tracking that huge horde again. Dang it. At least it's almost morning so I can easily see them again. Decent amount of shells left. Not a huge amount, but not a bad amount either. And probably can run one too. Oh. Oh, almost had me there. Alright, looks like we got about two volleys left here. for a second and then boop. all right last couple of rounds here then we're done with the shotgun and they're all unclustered again the assholes how dare they I would at least like to get to the armory here in the in the prison before things go bad. But if we're using up all of our ammo to go to the armory, are we really even making any like meaningful progress of surviving? The answer is yes, because we're killing zombies. And as you all know, my philosophy: any zombie killed is a good zombie. Apparently, I didn't rack it. Hold on, camera the round. Last shell, and got him. All right. Well, that's really all that we have that we can use. So let's go ahead and equip. All right. How many zombies are there? Oh, yeah, there's a shit ton. 
Not great. Let's go ahead and take some beta blockers. So it didn't look like the armory was upstairs. Or it was, though. Back there is just a way back outside. I'm not going to go up there. Go up this way, because then it's just like a tunnel back to this way. Oop. I'm gonna remove the glass around this window just in case I need a quick exit. Let's go ahead and pop down these two. There we go. I don't know where you came from, buddy, but you are in a quick beatdown state right there. Is that a metal bar on the ground, by the way? No, it's just a. That's the top of the window is what that is. This is a metal bar, though. I'll take that. No guns, Ranger? Come on, what are you doing here? You even a cop? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, given how tight the quarters are here, I'm kind of uh, concerned about going deeper into the place here. Let me back up for a second, open up the map. Where was here? Is it front? Fuck. Do I have any food on me? Not right now. Okay. And we're also tired again, which is great. you yahoos. I'm just gonna wait here for a moment. She is. Thought she could sneak up on me, huh? Another one from there. It'd be nice if the uh, doors were still on this place so that I could, uh, now close the doors to keep the zombies from trying to nom at me, but more strong is gonna work. And there's one door right there, but that's not gonna really do much. Anything in these? Oh, there is stuff. Huh. Ooh, free sugi. Flashlight. Crossword magazine, adhesive tape, or matches. Okay, things are quiet for right now. Can I sleep on this? Oh, I can. Where's the light switch for this place? Right over here. I do not like having dark rooms. Could be bad shutting yourself in a room like this, because a bunch of zombies get in the doorway, you're basically screwed. This was just a... filing room, huh? Okay. Sorry about that. Out here. Hey, buddy. Hey, come on. Are you deaf? You might be, but she's not. Yeah. 
Oh, what? You did not bite me, you piece of shit. I was far enough away. That should not have been a bite. Yep, time to go. Do, 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 do. Back outside. Back outside. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Not ideal. Where are all the zombies at? That's where they're at, of course. Okay. Any zombies near home? I say home, but I mean, uh, you know, that place. <gasps> Do you suppose my aim is good enough to uh, warrant using a pistol? I don't. Just you three for right now? Come at me then. I take you down here and now. That'll be the last one we have to deal with in the future. What the hell? Just beat his ass down. What? I figured something like that was going to happen. That's why I decided to stop and turn there. Oh, boy. How many do we got? Quite a few. Was I can take out this prison guard before uh, anyone else gets nearby him? The answer would have been yes if I could push him down first. But I end up to the big ol' N.O. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha! There's a guard over here. Not a guard, a prisoner over here. Oh, come on, man. Got him. Does this guy have a hockey mask on? I want that. Kinda. Not enough to fight the whole horde for. Right now, I'm just kind of thinking, like, what should I do? God. Further reduced my dam. Doesn't look like it. Let's climb through it real quick. If I can get to this couch and sleep. Not safe to sleep here. What about here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Fine then. Oh, they're coming to that window. Shit, move. Come on, 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 come on. No, hit the ground. The ground. Hit the ground. Miss me with that bullshit. Okay, well, I got a couple there. Did more. I think the prison might be a lost cause, y'all. Where's this map go to? Louisville, Kentucky? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that we're gonna have much luck here at the prison, unfortunately. It was a nice thought, but with just how many zombies there are and how little ammunition for other guns we have, it's not gonna be ideal. Also, for the story of Devin, well, given all the zombies there, he's pretty sure that his friend who was in prison has died. So we're leaving the prison in search of uh, greener pastures, places that we can 
properly loot and secure our livelihood at. Because, you know, if we stay in one place too long, that just leads us to possibility of getting caught. We don't want to get caught. Also, speaking of getting caught, how about we uh, come back here, put our shotgun away, because that's just going to weigh us down by a couple of pounds there. All right, and now we can go ahead and eat some stuff. So how about some jujubes? So the question now becomes, what do we do now? Where do we go? Well, that's a good question. I am not sure. Where can we go? Our limited gas and resources and all that good jazz. Obviously, we need to get out of town. This town has nothing left for us. If we just pull over for a moment, open up our map. Which I believe is the town that we've been to once before. Here is Maldru, the town that we have been in before as well. I don't remember any gun locations around there. the map now? The game's being weird. I'm gonna kill the thing and we're just gonna sleep real quick. Get ourselves nice and ready for a long drive. Um, I said we're gonna sleep real quick, right? My game's being a little bit We were fighting zombies. That would have been bad. Okay. Welp. Don't really know where else we can go at the moment. Let's check the map again. We know these places. Being away from big cities would probably be ideal. So, what if we headed north? We turn around and head north, out that way. Perhaps that can be our, our new goal here. Once we get the car started, of course. Go. Now let's go ahead and replace our bandage while we're going. Oop. Alright, so we'll just turn at the police and fire station here. Now, this town actually doesn't seem too bad for the uh, amount of zombies it has. Uh, the prison aside, like, we were doing all right here while we were surviving the first couple of days, which is uh, nice. And there doesn't seem to be too many zombies on the road now that we've cleared them, so I think it's rather nice that we uh, started there. If you're looking for an easy like location to hold down, this one might need might not be too bad if you go there and deal with that. I think let's just head north. Also, one thing we could potentially grab would be a uh... oh, they're feasting on some dead guy over there. One thing we could try to grab would be a generator. We get a generator, we can basically hook it up wherever we need to get fuel at, like a fuel pump, and then uh, get gas while it's running, and then just kind of keep taking it with us. We'll have to like keep hooking it up and unhooking it from gas stations and stuff, but that can be fine. Or if we find multiple, we can just like keep one at a pump that we are uh, kind of in the center location of or something. Right now, I'm just cruising, searching for our uh, next location. And then he grabs a uh, red licorice from the side seat and eats it. Looks like the road, the main road ended. We're on a dirt road now, it looks like, or a gravel one, whatever you want to call this kind of road. A low maintained road. Side road. Oh! 
Hello there. Apparently a lot of people decided to go down this road when the uh, apocalypse hit. There's a lot of car crashes there. Where do you suppose it's going to take us? I don't know. No idea. Oh, we cannot get around by our car, is that right? Well, we definitely won't be coming back this way if we're uh, getting chased by the zombies. It'd be a nice little area to set up a... Uh, a little base of location or something, you know? What is this place? Place with a... Oh my god, that's a huge backpack. I fucking want that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll end things here for today. And when we start up next time, we're going to try and get that zombie who has the, I think it's the military backpack there that has really good carrying capacity. Um, since we're kind of just in a location with nothing in it, I think we'll go try to grab one of our pistols, probably the M9 since we have a decent amount of ammunition for that. And then we can uh, try to clear them out as best we can. And also see what this place is. Yeah, given the location of this place, it seems like it would be a good location for, like, a a base, right? Um, like a self-sustaining base, anyway, I would say. But, uh, anyway, yeah, until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Bye for now.